Hey guys, one Clo here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really good day. In today's video, do we want to take a look on the Nerd X, what it can do, how it works, and what's inside. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, we currently do have the Nerd X right in front of us, which is basically a BitX Navy rod, but instead of using the ESP32 on the PCB itself, it does use a Nerd Miner in order to connect to the ASIC chip underneath here, and then you have the beautiful screen of the Nerd X combined with the power of a BitX. Let me get my power supply unit, and then we will power this one on. So let's plug this in and let's fire this up. We do see Nerd Eggs and it powers up. There's also a QR code for OSMU donation on the power up screen and it is already connected to my network. So therefore we do see a IP address up here. Let me zoom into it. So now you should be able to see this a little bit better. We now do have uh, a little bit of information on this device here. We see the IP address on top here. Here is the hash rate that we actually actually exceed. And here are a couple more information. So we see the fan RPM, we see the temperature of the chip, we see how much power we use, 10 watts here, we see the uh, amperage that we use, we see the uh, voltage coming in, which are five volts, and we see the voltage for the core, which are 1.2 volts, as well as here over on this side, usual information such as the best difficulty that we have reached and the uptime that we are seeing. So currently we're sitting at 434 gigahertz a second. And now a cool part, if I do click the lower button, we switch over and we can see on which pool we are actually connected. Currently we're connected to my Umbrella node. And by the way, if you want to set up your own pool on Umbrella, check out the video link is in the description down below as well as we see the port and how many shares are accepted or rejected. Over here we also see the hertz that the device is using. We're sitting at 425 megahertz as well as the voltage for the core. We also see here a percentage for the fan setting and that's basically it. But it looks way better than the I2C screen that we currently do have with the BitX device and therefore we want to take a look on it and I want to show you how this actually works. So let me unplug it and let me get my screwdriver because on the bottom side we do see, oh by the way, let's, let's uh, please give a, a huge thumb up to the designing for this case. It's just beautiful with uh, fan heats here or fan openings, also here fan openings on top. The Nerd Eggs logo is just beautiful on the bottom, a little bit more uh, fan holds and uh, we have some rubber bottom thingies here that I need to take off in order to get access to the screws. So let me quickly do that. We quickly take them off and there we go. We can open this up. By the way, before we dive deeper into this, this design has been created by Big Maker, who is also the designer and creator of the Nerd Miner. And in the video description down below, you will find an affiliate link. If you use this link, you will help out this channel and make it possible for me to make more cool content like this one. So let's take this out of the design case here. Let's see how this actually works because I never opened this one up. All right. Ah, I see. We slide it out like this. And there we go. Let's take a look on, on the buttons. They are just 3D printed in here. So that's super simple. I, I really need to appreciate and props to Bitmaker for designing this case. It's just beautiful. And here we do have the Nerd Eggs. In one of the future episodes, I'll try to make a video and explain to you how to flash the Nerd Eggs firmware on a Nerd Miner. Because one important thing for you to know is the Nerd Eggs firmware is a little bit different than the Nerd Miner software. So therefore you need to change a couple of things. It's super simple. It's super easy. They have a website on how to use this and how to do this. It's really straightforward and really, really simple. But what we do see here is an ESP32, the so-called Nerd Miner, how many people sell them or use them, just attached to a PCB. Let me take this one off. You see, it's just this Lilligo T-Display 
or this LilyGo display, which is basically used for the node miner. And with a couple of GPIO pins, you can actually attach this to this board. So if you just plug this in like it is as a node miner into a power source, it won't actually work as a node miner. You need to actually attach this onto this board in order to use the BitX hardware underneath. So we have a big cooler here, we have the heatsink underneath, we do find the BM1366 ASIC chip, which is from an S19, and on the bottom part, the usual parts that you do see that are coming along with the BitX itself. So that's pretty beautiful and that's pretty simple, and I really need to admire this. It is just stunning how beautiful this looks. This looks way better than a usual BitX, in my opinion, and that's the way what we want to achieve with the BitX itself. We want to create a display for it as well. But yeah, this is the first nice, beautiful bit eggs with a nice screen called the Nerd Eggs. I really love it, I really appreciate it. And as I said, in the future video, I will explain you how to flash the firmware and how easy it is to actually upgrade your Nerd Miner to a Nerd Eggs. And again, in the video description down below, you will find a link. You can purchase this board from Spain. So for all my European friends, it's beautiful here in Europe manufactured and you can order this board without the nerd miner. So if you do have a nerd miner, you can just fire up the new firmware, plug this into the nerd X PCB without an ESP actually purchased for this, and then use your new nerd X with way more hash rate than the old one. It's just beautiful. That's it for today's video. If you do like today's content, please consider subscribing and giving me a thumb up so that I do know you enjoyed this content and you will get more like this. Till then, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.